So, Viv, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jorge. Good to see you. Same. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's uh, start by describing ourselves. So, what are you doing at K2 University, Viv? So, uh, to introduce myself, my name is Viv Jurgen, and I am the global MD of uh, K2 University. Uh, K2 University is the official training partner provider of Salesforce in uh, Brazil um, and in Germany, Switzerland, Austria. And we have multiple different programs together with um, Salesforce where we train different target audiences uh, to introduce talent to the Salesforce uh, ecosystem. So we support on programs like Bring Women Back to Work. We support on uh, programs uh, around Talent Alliance. So we have our own net new talent programs. So it's a variety of activities which we have built as a partner of Salesforce Trailhead um, with the sole aim in, uh, in, in supporting the growing needs of the ecosystem. Okay, that's crystal clear. So I will do my, my, my presentation. So I'm uh, Jorge Villagona, uh, Managing Director of uh, ESDCRM, and super, super similar to K2 University, but with another business angle. We are official training partner for Trailhead and Salesforce in Spain, Mexico, and France, and starting operations in Portugal. And because of COVID, uh, doing a lot of online uh, training. And again, similar to K2 University, we are covering all the Salesforce official courses, some courses that we do for companies. And the objective is again, reducing the gap, the talent gap that there is from uh, Salesforce creating these thousand job opportunities and the need of people uh, being trained or being with different skills to, to match and to be linked to these job opportunities. So, uh, Viv, thank you for uh, being here. I think we have something to tell our friends. Absolutely, absolutely. It's great um, that we found the time today, Jorge. So maybe we can start, let me ask you, can you describe in a tweet the, obviously we want to talk about a partnership between the two companies, between ISDCRM and K2 University. And uh, it would be great if you can uh, explain uh, in, a, in a brief tweet what this agreement is all about. Uh, of course, and thank you, Viv. And yes, we want to announce uh, this partnership. Uh, in, in a nutshell, uh, K2 University and Easy CRM are competitors, but I think from the first time we met, we didn't consider ourselves as competitors. We are training in different countries, we have different business models, uh, but it, at the end of the day, there is a lot of regions, a lot of needs that are not being covered. Even doing a lot of efforts from K2 University side, from UCCRM side and other partners uh, doing these training efforts. So the tweet is, we need to be creative, we need to do things differently, and we need to partner with people as K2 University to make this reduction of the gap and train more people to get better job opportunities. So Thank you. Uh, again, Thank we you. Have, yeah, I think it's it's uh, a move to do more things and faster. So um, having said that, how how was this project born? Because this competition thing is great. But how, how, when this start? So um, obviously um, us also being in, uh, in Iberia like ISD, we already knew each other from the market. And, uh, and uh, on the last uh, real Dreamforce in 2019, <laughs> we had the opportunity to, uh, to actually uh, meet face to face. Um, and uh, we pretty much realized that we are both facing the same challenges um, on, on different markets and uh, the challenge of the growing demand of Salesforce needs and with that the growing demand of, of, of end user training, of uh, user training and also obviously on developing talent to, to close that Salesforce talent skills gap. And it was just a logical consequence of, um, of that conversation to say, well, 
if if both are seeing the same challenges, uh, well, why don't we join forces and why don't we start working as partners together, helping each other out, um, and by that achieving quicker the um, the targets which we have put upon ourselves. Um, which which are you know closing the, the the Salesforce skills gap on a talent skills gap and making sure that uh, we are delivering the right trainings to the right people who need it in order to get the maximum out of their Salesforce um, solutions which they have implemented. Okay, clear. Brilliant. Um, and I also have another question, uh, Jorge, which I would like to ask you yeah. is, um, you know, how do you think that this agreement, which we have now uh, put in place, will make us stronger, will make ISDI stronger, and how it will impact the LATAM region? Because we have s stated that we're going to focus on the LATAM market uh, to start off with. Yeah, and, and, and this is a super good point, Viv. Um, I mean, we have been doing this uh, Salesforce-related training for the last uh, three, four years. Uh, again, K2 universities is incredibly good at recruitment and, 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 and at training. And we have been doing this training on digital skills for the last 12 years, specifically the three, four last years uh, for Salesforce in this easy CRM brand. So in our case, we are correctly covering the MIA region. Uh, we are doing, again, because of COVID, uh, some online training, but the Latin American region is something that uh, we were struggling to, to tackle in the sense that we are working in Mexico as the official training provider. You are working in, in Brazil as the official training provider, but there is a massive uh, region to cover. And we have learned a lot in our past years. And I think the idea here is to uh, go together to make things faster, not to uh, go through the same mistakes uh, and to go better to the different Salesforce countries because the needs there are even uh, bigger than in the rest of the regions. Again, because the region is I think the region where Salesforce is growing faster. Uh, so clients are starting to adapt uh, the Salesforce technology. And I think the region is perfect to do this creative joining forces and working together with the experience, experience that we have in, in the previous year. So I think we will do an incredible job helping the ecosystem there in, in the next years with this, with this uh, alliance. Um, I couldn't agree more to that. Yeah. and. Uh, I mean, all, all this is incredible, uh, creative, uh, joining forces competition, going to a region that perhaps uh, we are more needed than in any other. But how do you see the future in this, in this partnership, Viv? I see the future bright, Jorge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think our, you know, uh, we have now been working together side by side for almost two years. Uh, this has already brought us together. You know, our values uh, are, are similar. We both have one target, and that is helping the Salesforce ecosystem. And, uh, and I think it will be a success, as you said. You know, um, we have a, a region that, uh, that, uh, where the demand is growing very, very fast. There is uh, a lot to, uh, um, to do there. And, um, you know, with, with joining the forces and, and creating new ways and, and, and developing new solutions to address that is only going to show us a bright future. And what happens, um, you know, what, what, what is, uh, what's going to be very successful in LATAM then could easily be ex exported to other parts of the world where we are operating today because both companies operate on a global, um, on a global level. So there's room to, for growth in this partnership. Yeah, and again, I, 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 I cannot agree more. I think we have the right uh, playground. We have the right players. And there is a lot of people wanting uh, all these job offerings, new skills, uh, digital transformation. 
through the companies in Latin America. And again, I think I think we have all the, the correct momentum to, to do so. So uh, let me tell you, Viv, that it's an honor to, to join forces and to try things and to fail and to succeed. And again, in my view, future is brighter than ever. Again, in the sense of opportunities and, and working together and trying things, which is, I think, the, the, the what it's below all this agreement, which is trying and trying and trying. And and the, the social impact of this is going to be, uh, I think, super high, which is a, a motivator to, to, to go ahead on, on, on this partnership as well. So the honor is on my side, Jorge, and uh, let's get started. Yeah, thank you, Viv. And again, uh, there will be incredible months uh, during this final stage of COVID, hopefully. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Viv. See you soon. So thank bye -bye. you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.